Okay, so here we are with our WordPress website. We're logged in and we're using the sliding door theme. The sliding door theme by default has a template, a page template with a sidebar on the left, a sidebar on the right, and content in the middle. What we're trying to end up with is something more like that, where that middle expands to take up the space uh, formerly occupied by that right sidebar. Uh, the theme does give us one option to sort of customize our page. If I go to Edit Page, and the re uh, under Page Attributes, change that from the default template to one column, no sidebars. You can see this is close, but it actually removes our left sidebar as well. So we did get gain space, but we also lost our sidebar. So we need to create uh, some custom code to get the behavior we want. Uh, I'm going to go back and actually set that to default. Now the easiest way uh, to do this is to go up under Appearance, Editor, and actually edit our theme. The trouble with that, um, once we kind of figure out what to do, is that next time we go to upgrade the sliding door theme from 2.61 to 2.62 or anything above that, we're going to lose those changes that we made. So rather than have to redo this every time we want to um, benefit from the, uh, the improvements of an upgrade, um, we're going to create a child theme. So as WordPress um, states, child themes are the recommended way of making modifications to a theme. So that's what we're going to try to do. I'll show you here quickly what we're going to do and um, why a child theme will let us do that. I'm back in the editor. Um, looking at those two page templates, so we have the default one. I want you to pay close attention right here to those three lines. Uh, it's getting the header, then it's getting the sidebar, or in this case the sidebars, and then it's showing the, the main um, container for the page. So actually if we look at the one column, no sidebar page template, we'll see the difference. There is no get sidebar, so the sidebars just aren't being um, added. And there's a class applied to this div, uh, which is called one column, which basically stretches that center column out to the right. So we need to create a hybrid of those two. Um, to do that we're actually going to override this page.php file in our child theme by adding this uh, class equals one column. Now you can see I'm changing this in our theme but I'm actually not going to make that change. I'm just going to copy it, um, paste it into my What I'm actually going to do, this is the easiest, copy the whole thing, paste it into um, my text editor here, okay, and then add in this little line right after div id equals container. We're going to say class equals one column. Now keep in mind this will only work for this sliding door theme. I'm going to save that file just to my desktop for now. And I'm going to take a look at one other thing we want to change in our child theme, and then we're going to go do that. That's this sidebar.php. So that's what's getting called when it says get sidebar. Um, as you can see here, it's, it's calling the first sidebar, and then it's calling the second sidebar. Um, so what I've done is actually copied and pasted this into its own file on my desktop, and uh, I'm going to show you how to create that child theme and then we'll go in and actually just delete this second sidebar from it entirely. Okay so um, if I FTP into my website or this website here um, what I did is I created a new directory under there's our website WP content themes I created a new directory called sliding door dash child and in that directory, the one required file is this style.css. And what that looks like is basically this right here. You, um, you tell it which, that, which theme you're inheriting from, so which, which theme is its parent. Uh, in this case, it's called sliding door. And we're going to import the styles from sliding door. So we're, we could add our own styles, but for now we're just going to import the ones coming from sliding door. 
The other two files in here are the PHP templates we're overriding. So um, the sidebar.php, let's, let's have a look at that. Okay, here that is. And we can actually go in, in this case, and just delete this whole bit um, from div open to div close. Those two, uh, between, everything between those tags, we're going to delete. So I'm delete and save. And I think that uploads it. If not, I may just want to... Um, Upload the file back to the server, yes. So I'm using uh, FileZilla. A lot of um, FTP programs allow you to uh, edit the file and then it will automatically upload it. Uh, if that didn't work, I would just copy it back over to the server. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with this page.php file. And once again, I'll say that I just copied these two um, right from the sliding door theme and just pasted them in to sliding door child and I'm going to edit them. So. Uh, let's do the same thing here. I may have already made this change. Doesn't look like I have. So here, um, we're gonna we're still gonna import the sidebar, but now it only has a left sidebar. And we're gonna add this class, which specifies the width should be equal to whatever one column is. So uh, somewhere, let's save that. Somewhere in this, okay. Somewhere in the style CSS file of the parent theme uh, was that class one column, which kind of defined the width. But we don't need to get into that. What I just want to show you here is that we've got our three files, and now we just need to switch over um, to that sliding door child theme. So back to our WordPress website, up to appearance and themes. And now uh, we'll see our new theme down here, sliding door child, and I'm going to hit activate. Now the one uh, part that will sometimes catch you uh, when you're switching themes is that your menus may be lost. So I'm going to go to menus, and the first time I did this, these were both blank. So it, uh, it kind of confused me, you know, it looked like this, why, why are those all back? Um, but if I go back, and set those menus under appearance and menus then everything's back to normal so just a heads up that sometimes that will change and now we actually have our child theme which is displaying just the left sidebar and the full width content so that's um, that's creating a child theme and editing some of the code um, of the parent so that it's overridden uh, and you get the behavior you're looking for. That's it.